Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Max Baseball MLB Talk. I am Max, and today I'll be sharing with you my favorite player in every te- from every team in the American League East. That includes the Rays, the Blue Jays, the Orioles, the Yankees, and the Red Sox. So let's get into it. My favorite player on the Toronto Blue Jays has to be Danny Jansen. You might not know who he is, but he basically splits time with Reese McGuire at catcher. And f- for a little bit of, if you want some statistics, he is 25 years old. He's from Elmhurst, Illinois. He bats right and throws right. He made his MLB debut in on August 13, 2018. His career stats in batting average, home runs, and RBIs, he's got 215 batting average, uh, 16 home runs in his career, and 51 RBIs. So obviously, um, Danny Jansen, my favorite player. Why? Because I like catchers. I'm a catcher, so I like other catchers. But obviously, Danny Jansen, he's a great guy. He's a great player. And obviously, he's a little bit underrated, but... In my opinion, I think he's pretty good, and I hope he does well for the next couple seasons. So my favorite player on the Tampa Bay Rays is going to be Austin Meadows. He made his debut in 2018 with the Pirates on May 18th, and then he was traded along with Tyler Glasnow to the Rays in the Chris Archer deal. Um, and he's been pretty good. He, w- he was an all-star last year, basically in his first Fullish season and some career stats for you. He is a career 291 batting average, 39 career home runs or home runs, and a R- and 106 career RBIs. I know that might seem like an average season for a um, pretty average, a average major league baseball player, but this guy's a ro- uh, basically a rookie. He did so well last year. He made an All-Star team, and I think Austin Meadows will be great. He's an outfielder. The Rays, he can do so much, and if the Rays end up not being that good even though they are going to be, they can obviously trade him away to another team just so they can get some prospects maybe. But then again, they got Juan Franco coming up, and they got so many great guys also in their minor league system. So I think the Rays can be a top contender because they already were. They were last year, and I think they can be a top contender within the upcoming years. Austin Meadows will obviously be a big, big part of that success. So my favorite player on the New York Yankees is going to be another catcher, Gary Sanchez. He's from the Domin- Dominican Republic, and he is 27 years old, so he's still pretty young. He's made his MLB debut October 3rd, 2015, and this guy is just a beast. Huge, huge power hitter, and he has just been so good over the past couple years. He's a two-time All-Star in 2017 and 2019, and he won a Silver Slugger. So, obviously, Gary Sanchez has been one of the premier catchers, supreme catchers in Major League Baseball. And he's not one of those guys that's just good at hitting. He's awesome at hitting, and he's really good defensively as well. Um, so, yeah, obviously, his career batting average is 246, so not that great. But, obviously, it's still hard to hit Major League pitching. Career home run- runs are 105, and career RBIs are 262. So, obviously, Gary Sanchez, number 24 for the Yankees, has been so dominant over the past couple years. And I'm so excited to see what he can still do next. Obviously, he's in a stacked Yankees lineup. They just got Garrett Cole this year. So, obviously, we will see more with the Yankees. Maybe they'll make a World Series appearance. I don't know. Maybe they can win number 28. But, yeah, Gary Sanchez has been such a great player, such a great part of the Yankees' success throughout the past couple years. And, obviously, Gary Sanchez, still, we still got a lot to come from this guy. So, my favorite player on the Baltimore Orioles, another infielder, by this one by the name of Hanser Alberto. He is such a great player. He can hit for days. And he made his debut in, back in 2015 for the Rangers, actually, in a on May 29th and obviously Hanser Alberto just been so great even though he's he's one of the most productive hitters in that Orioles lineup even though he doesn't get a lot of credit for the Orioles just because the Orioles are such a bad team he's got a career batting average of 276 and that is through 2019 that's from 2015 to 2019 so that's four seasons in the major leagues and obviously that's pretty good for a guy that's had to be batting with the Orioles, face some supreme pitching in the AL East and AL West, actually. But so yeah, 276 career average, 12 career home runs, and 60 career RBI. So obviously, he hasn't played four full seasons. 
He made his debut in 2015, been up and down since, but obviously Hans Alberto, a great player. He can put um, the bat on every ball he hits. He hits a lot, and he's very good at it. So even though he might just be a single hitter, he's still pretty good, and Hans Alberto definitely, definitely one of the best players on the Orioles. So very excited to see what he can do this year and what the Orioles can do this year. I mean, I know they might not have Trey Mancini, but obviously the Orioles could get be good this year. I don't know. John Means might be better. I don't know. I just I want to see what the Orioles can do this year. Last but not least, the final player of today's video is J.D. Martinez, my favorite player on the Red Sox. Even if Mookie Betts was still on the Red Sox, I would still pick J.D. Martinez just because... I love his swing. I love everything about him. I think he's a great player and a great athlete in general. So, obviously, he's got the accolades to go along with the rest of them. He's a three-time All-Star, World Series champion. He's won three Silver Slugger Awards. He was he won the Hank Aaron Award back in 2018. He led the AL in RBIs that year as well. And he also hit four home runs in one game back with the Diamondbacks in 2017 on September 4th. He's played for the Astros, Tigers, Diamondbacks, and Red Sox. And... Obviously, his career has been great. I mean, he's from Miami, he bats right and throws right, and he made his debut back all the way back in 2011 on July 30th. Yes, he's getting up there in age. He's 32 already, so could he possibly get to 300 home runs? Probably. I mean, if he can still be productive, I think he can get 70 or 69 more home runs. Um, I believe that's the number because he has 231. I'm pretty sure. Correct my math in the comments if I'm wrong, but J.D. Martinez has still been one of the best players in baseball. He looks great in the uh, Red Sox uniforms, and he's got a 294 career average, 231 career home runs, and 711 career RBI. So obviously, um, J.D. Martinez just so great over the last couple years, and obviously he's just so great. So guys, who was your favorite player in this video? Comment down below who your favorite player for each of these teams is. Comment down below who your favorite player is in general. Obviously, like the video, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see next. Obviously, make sure to answer those um, little polls that I put in the videos at the end. I ask, what do you want next? Um, so obviously, if you want something, comment down below, answer the polls, you know, just do all the stuff you can. Go check out Tyler's channel, Macer198. And uh, thanks. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time to watch my videos. And have a great day. Thank you.